feel like writing the riffs for this album, writing the music for this album, um, is interesting because we were able to, and, and comfortable in doing this, but able to channel a, a breadth of influences that maybe we would have been a little bit hesitant to do on previous records, um, both in terms of digging into our more extreme influences in a more explicit way, but also playing with the song dynamics and having more clean sections, introducing acoustic guitar, um, certainly at the beginning of, how, of, uh, of Vernal Gate, but at various points throughout the record as a layer. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think it was that we were sort of feeling confident enough to, to explore those spaces? I mean, it's interesting because we, I think on past records, we've like had sort of like a game plan going in about like, I don't know if it's just like being a younger band and like having something to prove and being like, we're going to make this kind of album yeah. or, um, or what, but you know, like on Absolution, I think in some ways, like it's easier to play like spot your influences with that record and totally. with Hunted, like it's, it's more of like a, um, you know, you can tell that it's sort of like a little bit more influenced by like Electric Wizard or something and like also more traditional Doom. It's like kind of a little bit more of a combo of those things, but with like the rock and roll stuff that we also like to do. Uh, and Desolation was like definitely a concerted effort to make like a more like traditional heavy metal album. Right. But I, I don't think on this album that we've really like talked about like what the style of it was going to be. Yeah. It was more just like we were gonna be comfortable enough in ourselves that we would just bring whatever came. And as long as it felt like it worked together, then it was going to, and was good, then it sure, was going yeah. to like, you know, help create the foundation for a song and help yeah. us like progress with that song and help us create different kinds of dynamics in the songs in ways that we haven't yeah. done before. I think that's interesting. I, I really do agree that it's the first time that felt like we went in with the explicit intention of writing a chemist record mm -hmm. first and foremost because you know four albums in we've been a band for almost 10 years like we know what what the sort of conceptual or philosophical heart of the band is i think in yeah. a way that and, and that also we even think about those things that you know for a long time it was just like well here's a riff that's cool so let's build a song around it and now it's like what are we trying to accomplish with a song yeah. or in this case with this album like, what does this mean yeah, and I know that I personally felt freed up to dig into a lot of influences, but not not necessarily in an explicit way. Not thinking like, okay, well now I want to have a riff that sounds, you know, very much like an Emperor riff or an Immortal riff, or I want this to sound like Caveman Death Metal. It's just like mm -hmm. letting go a little bit and letting the sort of creative process happen in a more unfiltered way. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and I think that also let us sort of go to a, a broader set of influences. Like, Absolutely. you know, on the same record, there can coexist like a Pink Floyd, like David Gilmore inspired guitar solo at the beginning of the last song on the record and have the record open with like a very like Swedish death metal and like mellow death inspired like series of riffs yeah, and totally. like movements. So, um, I mean, and those are both, I think, further away from the center of what we've done before, mm -hmm. um, which is, it's a cool space to play in because it, it once it gives us more freedom, but it also gives us more focus in a way, like where if we're comfortable with all of these sounds being chemists, the whole album feels very cohesive, but it has a lot of different flavors, which is interesting to me. Yeah. Um, and I think, probably more than any other single song, this all comes together on Shroud of Lethe in a cool way, like where we each sort of wrote like different parts of this song and just through like figuring out what felt like the natural progression of things, yeah, it just came together in this way that it ends up like, it just consistently is building on itself and like adding not just new elements, but like new, sides of chemists that have always been there but absolutely that we felt more comfortable yeah. in um you know like, like layering have... acoustic guitars at exactly. the end and like a lead and um having like this really big like one of the most sort of like dissonant riffs that we've ever had on yeah. the album like 
I also think, you know, like, it, that creates a spot for, like, you to have, like, the most death metal influenced, like, Absolutely. vocals that you've yeah. ever done, too. And we also, like, sort of accomplished that with the guitar tones being heavier. Sure, I yeah. mean, um, there's a lot of parts in that song that I think are really cool because of it just sort of helping us create this huge mosaic uh, of chemists, but it still all fits together in a yeah. really natural way. I very much like the idea, this sort of paradoxical idea of by not trying to clearly define the kind of music we play in terms of genre labels, mm -hmm. we very much refine the analytic focus and we're like, this is what we're after, this is, this is how you're supposed to feel when you yeah. listen to this record. And it doesn't matter what tools it takes to get there because we're not concerned with being specifically this band or that band or, or playing by whatever genre convention, but just making the most chemist record, the most chemist collection of songs that we can because that's the most authentic version of ourselves. Yeah, I mean, that makes me think about like that some of the touchstones of like what chemist sounds like in the past have been the dual guitar harmonies and which are like a, a melodic like lead element mm -hmm. um, and sort of like these more traditional metal parts, uh, both of which we more or less didn't do on this album, nearly to the extent that we had before. I yeah. think in the past we've always thought like there has to be this dual guitar harmony like part in every song. Harmony kind of thing, yeah. But on this album, I mean, there's guitar harmonies all over the album, but it's not, they're not used in that same way right. nearly as often. Like there's one in Living Pyre that's pretty obvious, but it almost is more like both guitars are playing a solo. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a couple of others throughout, but none that are really quite the same as like, this is a Thin Lizzy part. Exactly, which, yeah. Which is, you know, something that we love, but it, it's also kind of showing that we were able to approach this in a more mature fashion in service of the songs where we didn't feel like we had to do that yeah. with every song. And that felt kind of freeing once we sort of realized that that wasn't an element that like had to be there on every song. Yeah. Yeah. And not until the last song do we really have like a trad metal riff and then it's just like yeah, right, a yeah. pretty like hard hitting. You know, we we you know? we, we, uh, we save it for the end. You know, one of the things that I really like about this record is that by the time you get to the end of the record, if we haven't already shown you the different ways in which we can still sound like ourselves, but also sort of throw you for some loops, everything you expect to get from the closing track on a chemist record, we don't give you. Yeah, you, you know, and. Um, I, I think that's really satisfying because it's not an intentional kind of middle finger to the listener or anything, but it really is what's in service, you know, to the album, to the songs, to the story that we're trying to craft. Mm -hmm. And I, I know I, I speak for all of us when I say I'm really excited for people to dig into uh, to these tracks and to experience Deceiver in its entirety. November 19th. <laughs> <laughs>